crazy, but that's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest... But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry, I can... Al, I... No, listen, I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! I had lost my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! And don't worry, your cutout is fine! Forget that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down, though! It's like a sheer wall! Something moving down here! Barry, it's a taken! Use a flare, Barry! Oh, yeah! Barry, are you alright? <laughs> I'm good, Al! I'm great! Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? You're gonna have to find your way around to the farm, Al! I'll be waiting! Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area! You can catch up! Don't worry about it! I'm on the case! Now he's Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through.
I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm.
could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Ah! Ah! No! Danny, you're not! Ah! Please! Ah! Oh, oh, what are you? What are you? Ah! No! Don't! I'm sorry! Ah! I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again and, uh, for the moonshine, you know? It, it makes you see. They're, they're not going to miss it. They're in the loony bin. But my buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie the best friends suddenly the bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes, cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Let me guess. Danny, huh? The front door was locked. Still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. up here he was probably in trouble down at the farm for a moment i felt bad for doubting him after all i made it this far myself but barry was barry
Stay away from my daughter! I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Al! Run! They're coming! There's too many of them! God damn! Glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot! Ow! We have to fight them off! I can set off four of the fireworks from here and help you out! Hey, Al! Did you notice there's a lot of ammo and stuff around? Uh, this place is stopped! Al! Hold on! I'm trying to get the stage lights on!
White Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Hey, ow! This way to the farm! Bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al! They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Look at all this Sleep. stuff! They must have done okay we for themselves, so how come I never heard of these guys before? <laughs> and this from nice the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV? Hey, remember when I got you that cake? Your first real writing job. What got you started? Is this one of your episodes? Tonight's episode... The Dream of Dreams. Eh, that's by someone else. Should we join Mr. Jeff? The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram.
Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. <laughs> Sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Open, okay? As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deer Fest is almost here, isn't it? I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. Just saying we got, you know, a client to fry. And how much are you very Things are seen relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, man. I could see the building that had to be the Andersons' home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's... Hey, let's go, man. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. It's pretty heavy. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Come on, one more gig. Let's do this thing.
lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. find where it's coming from. That's the message the Anderson's talking about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be... What's her face? The crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right! Must be! Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And, and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! It was a crazy drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. It was the truth, a suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the Alice? cabin dark. Alice. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I remembered thinking, I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <gasps> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. <sighs> I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. <coughs> Alice! 
Alice. Jagger had Alice, Alice, and so she had me. Alice! <coughs> I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. The Dark Presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. No! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice. And the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. To interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my armor a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. Had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. The 
There's an old tale road with mystery upon the poet and his muse, and a magic lake which gave a life to the words the poet used. Previously on Alan Wake, I'm haunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her